culture. I don't bite. Good morning. Good morning. Man, must be a long way from here to there. It took a while to get there. You know, this is a good morning for two, two, two reasons. Well, a lot of reasons, but it's a nice sunny day. A little bit windy. But it also rained, and we really need the rain. So that's fantastic. Who knows what this is? Snow. It's a picture of snow, yeah. Maybe if I open it up, there it is. It's a calendar. What is a calendar? So it's, it's something that makes you keep track of time and date. Okay. Very good. It's actually a way for us to give every day a name. Like today is November 15, 2015. So if I give that day to somebody, they know exactly what day I'm talking about. And every day of the year, and every year, every, actually every day, because we keep <coughs> moving the calendar forward, has a name now. So if I want to, okay, what do we use the calendar for? Joey? Keeping track of days. Keeping track of days, or maybe it's to keep track of what we're going to do on a certain day, or something that is important on a certain day. For instance, and... We can do that by circling a day. For instance, if I look at my November, I circle November 10th. I actually have two important things that happened that day. One was my daughter Candace's birthday, and I had a doctor's appointment. November is actually pretty busy for me. Uh, November 12th is also an important day. I had another doctor's appointment, and my wife Margie's birthday. Uh, we can also circle and remember holidays, like November 26th is Thanksgiving Day. I have this 27th circle, because it's the day we're going to leave on a trip. So it helps us to remember certain days that are very important. And if I look on the, in December, I have another doctor's appointment on the 8th, and it sounds like you go to the doctor line. <laughs> And the 25th. What's the 25th? Why is that important? Jesus' birthday. That's Jesus' birthday. And we also call it Christmas. And Christmas. It's, and it's a time of celebration. We celebrate the, his birthday and we celebrate God's gift to us by giving each other's gifts and spending time with family. Okay, what other things might we put on a calendar? I had like a vacation day mark. Why is it important to know about like a vacation day? What do we have to do sometimes? Um, we gotta pack um, our stuff like the day before. That's right, we have to get ready. And if it's a long trip, we even have to maybe buy tickets for an airplane and maybe buy tickets at the motel we're gonna stay at. So it helps us to get ready for things. Now there's a couple of days in California that we should all be getting ready for, but we don't know exactly when they're going to happen. And if you go to school, you practice for one of these days. Does anybody remember? Oh, well, earthquake and fire. Earthquake, to fire drill day, right? And uh, the government tells us, okay, there's going to be an earthquake. So you ask them when, so I can get ready, and they say, I don't know. So what do we do? We practice it. We have a plan to keep safe, <coughs> to be able to make it through the earthquake. And then in the gospel reading today, Jesus talks about another day. Anybody catch what day that was? <coughs> you answered the last one. I'll let him answer. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't remember it? Yes? No? It's, Jesus talked about another day in the gospel lesson today. Remember what day it was? Joey? Um, when the world ends. Okay, it's the day that Jesus is going to come back. <coughs> and as Joey said, the world ends. The world will not be anymore the way we know it now. It will be changed a lot. So that sounds like a pretty important day. Can we mark that on our calendar? 
Thank you. 